NBC political analyst and former RNC chairman Michael Steele and Democratic strategist Margie O'Meara. Good to see both of you. Good morning. Hey, Chris. Good morning, Chris. So Politico says um, the predictions of majority support from Republicans and Democrats is a, a more ambitious goal, Michael, than any members had previously stated. Uh, do you think they're right to be so confident? Yeah, I think they are. I think that, you know, as irony would have it, you know, we thought guns would lead the way and immigration would fall by the wayside given the, you know, the personalities and the tensions around the subject of immigration. But that's the reverse has really seemed to be the case. Immigration has a new, fresh momentum. Uh, you've got a markup date set. Amendments are going to be put in place. It's going to be public. It's going to be viral. And I think it's all due to the fact that the party recognizes it's time to get off their duff and get something done on this because they're losing by the moment and certainly each month with 50,000 new Hispanics uh, 50,000 Hispanic youth turning uh, 18 every month the opportunity to begin to capture a new generation of voters well at the same time there is a feeling that the Senate needs 70 to put pressure on the house there's this new Washington Post article big headline today about house conservatives wanting to push their own immigration agenda I'm gonna read from it the announcement was the latest indication of a widening battle among Republicans over what to do about the country's immigration system and marks perhaps the most serious political challenge to emerge. Margie, how serious do you see this challenge? Well, I guess we shouldn't be too surprised that they're going to be House Republicans who are going to sabotage their own party's efforts to try and bring <laughs> more, more voters along and, and try to have some bipartisan cooperation. Um, but I also think it's a mistake to just think of this as uh, a necessity to appeal to Latino voters, because if you look at 2012 exit polls, two thirds of Americans said that uh, folks who are undocumented currently should be offered a chance for citizenship. Uh, Forty percent of Mitt Romney voters. This is not just about appealing to Latino voters. Americans want this. Americans around the country want this. And uh, to, to look at it that way, I think, may, may add to these issues. I mean, another thing, too, Republicans overwhelmingly support the Gang of AIDS proposals, which are designed for real bipartisan support. It's not blanket amnesty. There's a 13-year waiting period. Uh, people need to learn English. I mean, it's really designed to, to bring folks together uh, across the aisle. And about 80 percent of Republicans support uh, a lot of these measures. So it would really be a mistake for Republicans to see this as an opportunity to, to be divisive because that's not what the American people want. Well, Michael, part of the conservative strategy seems to be draw this out, you know, yeah. allow more time for the opposition to build and for them to put more pressure on Marco Rubio. Oh, I think you're right there. I mean, I, I think you see with the, even in the Senate with the Ted Cruz uh, sort of uh, making a different sound on this subject. I see all this, Chris, quite frankly, as a little bit of the posturing, sort of feeding something to the base. I think at the end of the day, uh, they're going to work towards that goal, the gang of eight, of getting 70 votes in the Senate. They want to put the pressure on the House. Uh, so, yeah, you can clang your symbols all you want, but at the end of the day, you're going to line up and you're going to vote for this thing um, because not only, uh, as was just pointed out, is it the, the thing the American people want, but it's good politics for the party. It begins to turn the narrative for the party. So I think you're going to see two, two strategies unfold here almost simultaneously where you're going to have the Senate really kind of framing the argument and pushing it, a little pushback against the argument by conservatives in the House, but in the end, we're all going to wind up on the same page and it will get passed. It was also interesting to me, uh, if you want to say strategically, that yesterday at the Bush Library dedication, when there had been a lot of speculation beforehand, what would the president say about the former president? What would Barack Obama say about George W. Bush? One of the things he talked about was immigration. Let me play mm -hmm. that. I am hopeful that this year, with the help of Speaker Boehner and some of the senators and members of Congress who are here today, that we bring it home for our families and our economy and our security and for this incredible country that we love. And if we do that, it will be in large part thanks to the hard work of President George W. Bush. Margie, no accident uh, the president decided to uh, focus his praise in this area, is it? No, I mean, I think that made a lot of sense. Look, I agree with the president. I mean, you would never have heard former President Bush use some of the language that you hear sometimes where people talk about electric fences and shooting undocumented workers. I mean, that kind of language you hear sometimes on the right. You would never have heard from former President Bush when he was governor, when he was president. And, and you can see that electorally as, uh, as uh, Republicans have, have lost ground among Latinos uh, since he's been in office uh, while the Latino population has grown. So I, 
I think there are a lot of steps going forward. It's not just policy. It's also getting rid of some of the, the heated rhetoric sometimes on the right uh, about uh, Latino voters because that doesn't just affect their standing with Latinos. It affects their standing overall with voters everywhere. So the markup starts May 9th. Uh, how quickly does this get done, Michael? Uh, I, I think it's going to be a pretty steady timeline. Uh, I think that there will be amendments, obviously, and there will be uh, some chatter uh, on the ground from various forces out there, certainly in the blogosphere about all of this. But I don't think it slows this thing to a crawl. I think they've got the momentum, as they like to say, the winds in their sails, and they're going to move, I think, rather expeditiously to get this thing done on the timeline that the president and the Gang of Eight have outlined uh, by the beginning of summer, or at least by the end of the summer. Michael Steele, Marty O'Meara, good to see both of you. Have a good weekend. Thank you, you too. Thank you.